All right, here we go. <clears throat> Welcome to the Modern Reads X Podcast, episode 48. This is Nick Vavar, your host as always. To my right, Colton O'Brien. What's up? Back for his 5,000th episode. Pretty much. Uh, Chill is not in the building today. The white man that you see in his seat, I know you thought it was a black guy sitting there, but it's not. His name, we don't, we don't even say his last name. We don't even call him his full name. I met this guy in high school. He walked in the in, in the classroom with with one of those, you know that you know that dude that like walks in the classroom and you're like looking at him, and he's got his eyes kind of squinting, and you're like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> That's who this was. Goes by the name of Pat. Pat is in the building. Let's give him some claps. Oh yeah. Let's give him some claps. I appreciate so it. Appreciate Pat it. Pat took you, you. You took time off to come here. Took time off, man. Took the day off, man. Th- that's uh, that's commi- dedication. That's dedication, my man, friend. First podcast, bro. I had to do it, man. First, is this your fu- first podcast ever? Ever. Because like you got to think about it, no one are because you're gonna start your podcast. But no, oh, you having second thoughts? No, 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 no. I'm well, still starting. Well, well, you know what I'm saying is like no one like our age has podcasts. Not in like the whole even Arlington. I don't area. know anybody that has a podcast because if they did, I'd be trying to hop on it. Yeah, but yeah. new wave shit. Do what? We're on some new wave shit. That this is on. I think I'm ahead of my time. Ahead of your day, man. Because like the people that listen to podcasts now are like older people, like twenty eight, thirty ish. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I know I be posting this shit and motherfuckers be on my shit. Like this, this motherfucker really think he popping off in this podcast game. You know what I'm saying? What makes you? What, so I have like a few ideas about this, but what makes uh-huh. you want to do a podcast specifically instead of like doing like edited YouTube videos so or, like, or shit like that? So when I started off, or when I started off at my work, um, I put my headphones in. I was listening like music nonstop, but then it gets to a certain point, where you're like fuck, I don't listen to music no more. Yeah. So I started listening to podcasts, and I fucking love. I love podcasts. Dog. Yeah. But what about it makes you like it? Just like I don't know. It's just entertaining and like. I like those days where like you can get in the car and turn on like the sports radio or something. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? To Matt. Like I listen to the ticket. I love the ticket, bro. All day, every time. Uh, Stephen A. Listen, Smith. All that shit, bro. I, I, don't I even love like listening to music in the car no more. I know I don't listen to music anymore. I just listen to the fucking ticket. So and then I'm like and because like I was never the type of dude to like have a conversation with someone, but that's when I was like, well, maybe I can. Tr- I'm always trying to change my fucking ways. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm a dickhead. I try to like realize that I'm a dickhead and I try to be less of a be dickhead. less of a dickhead. Of course. So I was like, well, how about I try this conversation shit? And then I don't know. I just fucking and I told myself, I was like, if I if I start this motherfucker, I cannot stop. Right. I can't. I'm not going to be. I can't. I'm glad you dudes. didn't. Well, I guess what I'm saying I came with those dudes that start something and then. Yeah. Just fucking like expect it to just like boom. off. That's the what I'm saying. Like the views are all right. Like the views are all right. Yeah. Like they're not some fucking. But I mean, it takes it takes a minute, regardless. Takes like, a minute. So I'm trying not to trip on it, but you know, I think the coolest thing about the podcast is just being able to have different people in the room and have uninterrupted conversations. Because I mean, even whenever you, we listen to like stuff like the ticket, you know, they go to commercial every like three four minutes. That's what I'm Pissing saying. Me off. And, and people can't mm-hmm. finish a really long point or a really complicated point that they're trying to make because they have to have all these responses fit in within these small mm, amount of yeah. time. And we're yeah. just kind of sitting here letting our minds go, you know? Well, it's just like, like I'm 23 years old. I get to come talk some fucking bullshit on a mic. <laughs> and, you shit. know what I'm saying? And like, you motherfuckers get to watch it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Pat's in the building. Pat's in the building. I fuck with that hat, by the way. Me too. You know I like it a lot. I fuck with that heavy. I was going to call it. I never even seen that in my life. Hey, it was the only one they had at Macy's, man. <laughs> uh, we were having a conversation uh, outside about um, Indians. And Pat thought I was talking about um, Native Americans. Native Americans. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about that community. Yeah. I'm talking about, I don't even know what to call them. What, what, what would that, I call them? Isn't that just Indian? India. They're from India. India. I mean, you're talking about from like, the country. Yeah, you're talking about yeah. the Indian culture and Middle Eastern culture. Middle Eastern is what I'm going for. Okay. Okay. So I'm listening to this fucking podcast. I don't. I forgot what podcast it was, but they're talking about how in India that the 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 guys out there are, are uh, fucked up to their women and they can like touch their women and shit. 
and like just beat the shit out of him basically and not get away with it and if the woman cheats then she like faces time or whatever right yeah definitely it's like it's one of those things that like urge the fuck out of me because i know these are some pussy ass motherfuckers they don't want the smoke okay so colton's shaking his head on me take the guns out of the situation right say they're not gun people you, know, you feel me? Where are we me? going with this? Huh? Where are we going with this? I'm I'm going deep. Okay. So say they're not gun people, right? Say there's no okay. AK-47s over there. There's none of that shit, right? Okay. I could go over there and whoop one of these motherfuckers' ass. <laughs> and if you think I can't, yeah, never mind. Hey, shit. You can do whatever you want in your life. Son, man. I will grab one of those motherfuckers by his little fucking dress, whatever the fuck they wear out there. <laughs> I don't Ooh. think dresses. It's a dress. Dude. <laughs> it's a dress. I seen it at I seen it at the Macy's. Pat seen it at the Macy's. I saw it at the Macy's. It was on it was right next to yes. the polo hat. Yeah, it's right next to the polo hat, son. It said polos and fucking dresses. <laughs> I'm grabbing that motherfucker, swirling that motherfucker around, right? Fucking wedgie in this motherfucker all type of ways, right? Heard. And then I'm going to have the woman that he beat the shit out of beat the shit out of him. I like that idea. I mean, it you is, know what I'm saying? It's like really serious idea. out there, man. I think Saudi Arabia in 2017 made a law that women can now be licensed drivers. Like, it took up till 2017 to just let people get a license. And like it's like a whole you know, half of a population. We get mad at um, for when the women come down here. And they still have like the, they still cover up all their shit. I don't care. I mean, I I give a fuck, but like I like now it comes to me like they still fucking. Stink. Like I wonder what like when the when the dudes come like, like let's say they go on vacation from there to here, and they see like they let's say they walk down Seventh Street and they see a girl like half naked. Yeah. Dog, they busting like, nuts. <laughs> like, they are, are they mad or nuts. or what? Like, no, because there's only two options: either you know the busting nuts or the. Or but that's a good mad. point. That's a good yeah, point because like, what are they thinking? That's a good point because they ain't finna go up to one of our women and fucking disrespect her. Cause then you got some problems, dog. Literally. So that's the what girl I'm talking about. Your ass. That's what I'm talking about. You you come down here and try that shit too. Especially happens. Texas, like, you don't come Especially to Texas, in Texas and fuck with some people. Like think about putting them in a strip club, bro. They're gonna go crazy. You the, think they got guns out there? We well, the, the thing here. about the strip clubs, they go in there, see that shit, bust a nut, and then you know, mm. you know, you bust a nut. You watching something? It ain't the same. What if their no daughter more. like left, and then they find them at the strip club, and then try to fucking disrespect them at the strip club? Just you gonna, you gonna have to ass. deal with the fucking seven foot, big, <laughs> big black boy, three hundred pounds so, muscle, a, a big black Christopher it's, Boykins. So pretty much, you're saying they just lost her for the night. <laughs> you ain't getting her back. I'm. What I'm saying is, is they really pussy. I'm gonna pussy. say it. Though. Pussy. The Modern Music Podcast. Pussy. <laughs> I, I've had another, I heard and, that. And if Chill was here right now, he'd go, man, I don't even want to end this conversation. <laughs> yeah, <man."> he would. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, they're pussy as fuck, dog. It's a controversial subject. Yeah. And what I, right? <coughs> what'd you say? Controversial. Controversial. Yeah. Sounds about right. And I don't even have Indian friends. <laughs> and I think if I did have Indian friends, they would agree with me. Just go to UTA. You'll make some. Dude, UTA is flooded, son. Flooded. I'm a minority there. You are a minority there. For sure. You play basketball up there, right? Uh, no, no, no. I play a lifetime. I was about to say. I was about to say but I heard they got the courts up there are pretty good. Do like, Indians popping. ball? I don't Dude, know. I know like Middle Eastern people come up to Have, fucking Has any lifetime? Indian person ever made the NBA? Hooping. I honestly don't know. I don't even think they have a national team. Yeah, they do. They, they, the Middle Eastern do. Yeah. Is it, what are they called? India Middle East? Speci- no, no, like India they specifically. The countries oh, do. India? Yeah. Oh, I need to fucking see them ball. I mean, they're in the FIBA World Cup. I mean, that's going on right now. The yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, how nobody doing? gives a fuck about any of it. Yeah, I ain't never heard of them. So I yeah, bro, USA good. only won by two. Did y'all see that? Who they play? But I don't know, but the team they were playing wasn't that good in... Anyways, we almost lost to them, and they missed four free throws to isolate into the game, and we won by two. We lost to Australia for the first loss in I think it was seventy. See now, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you pretty kind of stack. They got angles. They got angles. They got a uh, little uh, Mills. They got um, yeah. That's who they, he went off. Who Mills for who? Um, for Australia, Australia. Hmm. The only black motherfucker on Australia. Yeah, probably the only one that I think in their he country. dropped like he dropped Ben Simmons on him. Yeah. Is it Ben Simmons? No, he wasn't even there. Ben Simmons not on the team. Mm-hmm. 
Bro, Who's, like Ben Simmons isn't from here, right? I don't no. know. He's from Australia, but he played high school ball in so he plays here. Oh, okay, yeah. No, so I don't, I don't he's know. not even in the World Cup. He didn't even care. He don't even talk Australian. Yeah, I care. Yeah. Is he really Australian? <laughs> I think he's, he don't talk Australian. He, it's either Australian or Austria. I don't remember. No, it's Australia. I know it's Australia. Okay, should he should be on their team? They could wreck shit, bro. They so, actually um, have a chance. Uh, USA got cold. Uh, Tatum just got hurt. Yep. They got uh, Jalen Br- Brown. Uh, Brown uh, fucking Uzma. Marcus Smart's team. If Marcus Smart is your team captain, you got problems. They fucked son. up with that roster, bro. You I got swear they problems. Fucked up. Well, that was, they did. They didn't do that on purpose. Just well, their original play. roster was like pretty fucking. Yeah, then everyone dropped out. My like, question is, why don't like the older like the like the better players play? Or you know how much like, money why is they it get all paid? Young players. You know, Melo wanted to fucking play on the USA squad. Yeah, this year. fuck Melo, bro. We they they didn't let him. <laughs> they didn't let him. They're like, nah. Unpopular no. opinion. Melo don't, don't need don't. a contract. So you don't fuck with Melo. You know, what? I just pass his time, bro. Just take your pass his time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take your retirement. Once he went with the double arm sleeve, you know I think saying? I knew it was over. Yeah, because he used to have the fucking. He used to be swagged out. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what's funny is when motherfuckers get old, they really go the double arm sleeve. Yeah. They uh, throw the hoodie uh, on Taj the Gibson, double arm sleeve. Hey, with Taj the Gibson's clean, though. I fucking hate Taj Gibson. Taj sorry. Gibson's clean. Who does he play for now? The, the fucking Timberwolves. 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 Yeah. Wolves, yeah. Is he any good? No, he's never been great. He's, he's a starter, never, but he ain't. Yeah, he's he never been great. He's always going to be the same, but Taj Gibson go hard, though. I'm a. Uh, Dwayne Wade. He's been in the league for like 10 years, right? Dwayne Wade. Double sleeve. Double sleeve with sleeves. It's because your arms give out, man. You That's gotta, what I'm saying. You start getting arthritis if you, if you're elbows. on the court rocking double sleeves with sleeves, <laughs> you hang it up, my Let's friend. Hang it up, bro. Retire uh, that jersey. Yeah, you know something pretty crazy back to the, the, the India conversation? Yeah. It's, you know, like three hours ago, they like filmed. So we haven't been to the moon in 50 years. And India just tried to land on the moon like three hours ago. You mean never? What? India Me? tried to land on the moon three hours and ago. And it didn't work. They tried to land it and it... it Where'd they land? So pretty, <laughs> Where'd pretty, they go? All I know is I was watching the live feed from like India's like space center on Earth pretty much, right? And the whole feed cuts like about five minutes before they're supposed to land. And like the whole, all the papers right now are saying that they didn't successfully do it, but they never put the feed back on. So pretty well, much we don't know. They fucked the up. Moon. They out there floating in fucking outer space. One of them Stranger Things, them and dogs got them out there. <coughs> Dude, something's going on. I don't know. You you weren't here for this, but I was talking about how when they said they first landed on the moon, there was um, two uned- unidentified objects floating um, like a couple of miles out, just looking at them on the moon. Hmm. And they got freaked the fuck out. Well, I'd shit myself. Hell yeah. I'm out, dog. I'm out. Dude, uh, dog, take me back home. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm out, son. You remember whenever I told you about what we were talking about Buzz Aldrin and what he said. Yeah. There's a separate video that I found from the one that I mentioned last time where mm-hmm. he says that he's on C-SPAN, which is the government network. And he says, uh, he says, whenever people find out about the tower on the back of the moon, people are going to ask questions. And like the, the person like who's like kind of interviewing him asks no questions. Like they're just like, kind of just like let him talk. He like looks at it. He's like, yeah, pretty interesting. Can we not, <laughs> can we not get back on the moon? No, I'm saying we dead ass. This is the first public trip in 50 years that we took today. That who launched, I think, five days ago. Yeah, this is the first one we've gone to in 50 years. So the we Indians. S- no, the um, Earth, mm. straight up. <laughs> now, <laughs> the now, Indians. That's not that's not true though. Like we have left multiple times since then, but that's the first. So public like, have trip. we revisited the moon? Not publicly. We why been, not? Oh, not publicly. We've though. been to the moon once, like, and well, that we was whenever we said. That's we what, that's what I'm like. like you figured like, we'd okay, be we like, hey, there. we need to go back. And cool. Well, it's like I was telling you, like the fastest planes in the history of the world were built in 1968. It's like where that technology go. Yeah. Well, my thing is, is like, why, why haven't we fucking put cameras out in outer space yet, dude? I'm telling you, there are. They just aren't telling us. So, shit. like, that's what I'm saying. We had to have gone back to the moon, planted some cameras. And Bro, I swear it. that we have traveled into deep space. You know, I'm on YouTube because you, this motherfucker, be getting in my head, right? And I can't sleep at night now because this guy, <laughs> right? That's what do you do? I get on your head or in your he head? In my fucking head. You okay. Probably read his Twitter too much. <laughs> I'm not even on the Twitter. That's the thing. <laughs> and uh, I'm on there, and I fucking search. Uh, I was like. I was like, uh, planets that we have visited, right? And um, I'm not too sure what it was. It was like an orange, or it was like it was an orange planet. It was like nothing but desert, 
really. They said we visited it. I think it's it called Mars. Sir. Yeah. Was it Mar- Mars? It was Mars. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> are you kidding me, <laughs> bro? Son, I ain't no fucking scientist. Oh my god, but it's the next fucking planet, bro. That's <laughs> not. It's like I don't know about that. Listen, listen, class. listen. It's like Mexico. What's the name of that country? Listen, again? man. Listen. I got held back in the fucking uh, third grade. So you're telling me you took the science class twice and you still don't know it. Son, I, <laughs> I'm about to blow y'all's mind. Blow a. So I, so I got held back in the second grade because I didn't know my days of the, uh, my, my months of the year. Oh, no. So they're like, you can't go to recess. I still and, struggle with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, you can't leave until you know your months of the year, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November. Because I wanted He's to passed. go. He's passed. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to go to fucking recess. <laughs> I wanted to go to fucking <laughs> yeah. recess. So finally, I fucking passed these shits, right? And then you just said, what did you just say about science to me? You're like, you had to take science twice? Yeah. Son. They did not let me walk the stage at Lake Ridge because I could not pass my freshman year biology star test. For real? Swear to God. You weren't on stage with us? I was not on stage. I was there. Did they give you the thing? No, I didn't even graduate from Lake Ridge. I had to graduate from an online and get my GED. There's some hoes. Hey, let me shout out Lake Ridge real quick you for being saying? some hoes. You know what I'm saying? It was, uh, assholes. it was... Fucking uh, assholes. It was... Who the fuck was our principal? Um, the guy Mr. Fuck Planus boy. No, yeah, was no, the no, AP. no no Who's the It was a tall white dude right Yeah yeah He came from Mansfield Bro he can suck a dick Yeah fuck yeah Anyways that dude fucked me up I hope But I never passed this. my freshman year biology I took that whole four times Damn I'm taking college biology subject. right now Me too I went to college for one week And I left that home It's fucking easy But anyways What were we talking about I, I don't know We were talking about the moon I think Yeah Fuck the moon. Fuck the moon. <laughs> oh, Saturn. I mean, Mars. 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 Yeah, Fuck you said Mars, that you bro, read man. about There's someone. Indians are in my head and shit. So what happened on <laughs> Mars? No, you said that someone had <laughs> so, visited or you Yeah, so they shit. have, so they basically have a 3D print of what Mars looks like, but it's not like a real video. It's one of those like, you know, mm-hmm. it's animated fucking yeah. basically. thing. And I'm like, if we, if we fucking know what it looks like. And we can make an animated version of it. Then why haven't we? Why don't we have? Where's the real? I want a real video. Uh, there's got to be real. Video. I couldn't find any real video. And they have of Mars. They of sent Mars. This, it's no the, real video. The second rover is there right now. So they had the rover, but all they, the rover wasn't a real video. It was all fucking animated shit, and that really fucking bothered me. You're telling me if I go on Google right now, <laughs> I cannot find a video of Mars. You cannot. You can find a video, but it'll just be animated. I want really? an actual video of the fucking rover on the ground just m- moving around. Can't find it. You know what that rover said they found about three or four months ago? In Mars? Yeah, they said they found water. Well, I mean, uh, okay, so like I watched this Netflix thing that was about Mars. It's about traveling to Mars, and it's part, half part, like interviews with real people like Elon Musk or like mm-hmm. that about establishing a community on yeah. Mars, and then the fictionalized version of them actually doing it and there is water on mars it's just frozen and deep down under. hella deep so what does that mean there's yeah. water on mars there's there's living things no that means there once you could, could sustain once life. could you have could been there. living things and there could be microorganisms that's yeah. it so basically if we were to establish a colony on mars the first thing you have to do is find that body of water and you'd have to dig it and siphon it bunker somewhere. deepest enough underground to like because I feel like siphoning would be too annoying. Like, you'd have to move close to it. I mean, if you're going to be the only thing Well, there. that's what they had to do on that show was, like, literally find it. And then they were, it was, like, deep down under in some fucking cave. And then that's where they established their shit. I mean, what, what happens if you fucking dig that hole and it caves in on you and everyone's just stuck on it's Mars? And then there's those, they have, like, huge dust storms that are, like, crazy yeah dude they, they, there's some that cover the entire planet it's so ridiculous. what you tell so what i'm the only thing i'm gathering from this right now is that uh indians live on mars no but That's, it would be terrible it's the middle east out there <laughs> middle east no, it really there, does bro. look like that turbans though. only yeah. like, no, <laughs> no, but like yeah. the, the, the 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 environment is kind of really the same as like kind of like how the middle east is just like without you know sparse pieces of grass it's just kind of rocky and just dirty like that and rock, yeah yeah you could put a foundation on there yeah, definitely. If they did it down there, you could, right? You All know, I'm saying is, is I don't know why we're hiding real footage of Mars. I know, that's bullshit. I don't know why it's a fucking big secret. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The space race. They they did a... Uh, <laughs> they, they flew... Um, God damn it, I forget which planet it is. I think it might be... 
Neptune or Pluto, but either way, they flew something like 40, 30 years ago that ended up making it, I think, last year, and they just released pictures. I'm like, this motherfucker, if you still got connection with something near Pluto, like, that shit has got video, yeah. you know, and they just released, like, colored pictures, like, that they, it's like pictures, they take it, and then they go, and they edit it, and then they make it look more colorful, and I'm like, the first picture of, of another planet that a human like civilization should share with each other should not be edited. I got you know? a question for you that I saw the other day. Why is the sun hot if outer space is cold? It's pretty cool, right? Atmo- <laughs> he loves <laughs> pretty it. Pretty cool. He loves it. He loves it. Atmosphere. Yeah. So like, and why is it so fucking hot in Texas? Light, <sighs> light is a I'm weird scared, thing. Son. This time last year it was it was like chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Light's a weird thing. Same with like heat. Like just the fact that. So, like, it, whenever the Earth was, like, first created, it was just, like, a molten, like, rock that w- all the heat came from the inside and no heat came from the outside. And then pretty much, you know, DNA and RNA turned into three. So, pretty much there was no life on Earth. And so, what they think happens, the evolutionary theory is that there was this thing called DNA. DNA turned into a 3D structure went from literally not existing in the universe because remember i was telling you about how like okay so anyways like for something something to take up space it has to be 3d right it Mm. has to like have information 3d wise those those plonks length that i was talking about and the subatomic particles got to make up this thing Mm. well they're saying that this thing came from nothing and then just turn into a 3d structure and then it made rna and then it made a protein and then proteins pretty much made microorganisms but like money we don't have a professional cameraman yet, so, you know. It's all good. What you need? What you the need ladder's doing for? pretty we good down there. Do what? The ladder's doing pretty good, though. Yeah, I know, dude. You should start paying him. If y'all can see behind the scenes, it's fucking high tech. <laughs> Shit. Let me tell you. We got a dude. whole crew back there, bro. Dude, a whole bunch of Indians. I want a water right now. Cheerleaders are right now to go behind the it. screen. Is it hot in this motherfucker, dude? A little I'm bit. I'm getting a little hot. It's yeah, just dude. a heated conversation. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> It gets hot in this fucking room, dude. It's like a fucking sun in this bitch. Okay, so I think we should, if we're gonna, if we're gonna jump into another topic, let's do the family thing that I was telling you about. All right, so I'm gonna debunk it, dude. Okay, I like families. So there's this thing called the family, and the family is, um, in short, they're a quote religious group that's not religious in any way. The word religion is completely out of their vocabulary. So the thing that they do is they ran DC for a very long time. Um, they're pretty much just a rich. I don't want to use the word cult because that's it's a white family. It's definitely like Sounds all like whites it. whatsoever. Right. So the, the 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 religion itself is, and I'm not even joking. They they pretty much took the Bible and they modified it into this um, just quotes of Jesus. So there's no extra books even though there are still like john luke and all these different books that make up the bible what they do is they take those chapters and just take what jesus said out of it and make a book based off that and the which book, is basically what everybody else does i mean not really because christianity is the whole book yeah. but like their book is called jesus so yeah. the thing their that book is called jesus <laughs> the book that or the person that runs it all his name is doug co what's actually really crazy about doug about this guy yeah. who uh, yeah. runs the family is I've been looking for this name for probably three and a half years and I've never been able to find who runs this family. And then this documentary drops on Netflix about two weeks after I find the name and this documentary drops. And if anyone hasn't seen it, you should go watch that on Netflix. It's called the family. Anyways, Doug Co is like in, I quote this from multiple powerful people in the, in the docu series, it says uh, Doug Coe is the most powerful person in DC that you've never heard of, and so the whole religion, like unquote religion, because it's not really a religion thing, is they are the way they define it is Jesus plus nothing. So like here is like the oxymoron of the whole thing that's really crazy is like they'll bring. So like the reason these like world leaders come and hang out with Doug Coe is because they'll come have dinner and they'll do these like prayers and like you'll have like the like genocidal maniac presidents of like Uganda and like all these different countries all around the world coming and meeting at their mansions that they have 
And the reason they say they come is because they know, like, quote, know Jesus will be present during mm-hmm. their lunch. Mm-hmm. And so pretty much they'll have lunch and Doug Coe and his friends will pray for you. And because Doug Coe is there and the assumption is through D.C. that Doug Coe has the best relationship with Jesus out of anyone in the world. So, like, pretty much here's what the point of this whole mm-hmm. rant right here is that. What they do is they have this thing called Eichenwald. Well, Eichenwald, they they pr- Eichenwald. They pretty much raise <laughs> the German way. They German, ra- German. they raise young children, and these young children's job is to rule the world one day, like yeah. through um, I don't know. I respect the hustle. Yeah. For real, <laughs> for real though, it's pretty crazy. Like how good they are to it. You like you can't you can't hate what, on it. What sometimes. I'm gathering from what you're saying is a bunch of fucking psychopaths. Definitely, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Who? So Doug Coe is Jesus. Doug Coe is Jesus. That's what we're getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. But um, <laughs> stop praying to your dude. <laughs> so, pretty much what's what's really crazy about this is that they'll go and say like uh, someone like Trump or the. Ugandan president comes through to the house and they'll sit there. They'll say like their, their whole thing and the way that they acquire power is that, so it's Jesus plus nothing. So like it's a, you create an oxymoron by saying, by me telling you plus nothing, I get to decide what plus nothing is. So I don't have boundaries on what my kind of idea of, religion should be like so these people that are world leaders are coming to their door and they're christians right Mm -hmm. and they're coming and they're having this dinner with doug co and they'll come out of it christians still but now they have this new understanding of what their religion that they've been practicing their whole life is meetings of to talk about religion that's exactly what it is it's a bible study group literally that's that's what they want that's what they want us to think it is and that's really what it is to a point um there so in the in the docuseries what's really cool about it is it follows two different guys who were in eichenwald and they're pretty much the information for this docuseries right and what they're doing is they're talking just their experiences and telling the camera like what happens while the camera crew themselves has their own agenda of portraying them as bad guys and making them look like these world leaders so traitors the those two guys yeah traded. fucking judas dude fucking judas but it's it's pretty weird like so these guys um <laughs> dude i would like to just sit in on that shit hell yeah just bro, like sit in like... the corner don't say shit and just like this whole time bro imagine you see like someone like a head, like a secretary of state like sitting next to you and you see in him being wowed by your leader Do they telling have orgies him that, after this i don't know I, I hope so i didn't I see anything so, right? i didn't see anything like that but i'm sure the weirdest shit went They're on like there. jesus wants me to suck your dick right now that's, i mean so that's the craziest Jesus plus nothing so you, you have no boundaries yeah so <laughs> yeah, the true. craziest part about it is that they use this um how do I say this? So they use this like Jesus plus nothing to create a a no something. Limit, yeah. Well, like so with this no boundary limit, what they're saying is that the original story of Jesus. So these people are so high up that they have like the mystery school teachings of the Rosicrucians, the Knights Templars, the Stonemasons, the Skull and Bone Society. I hate the word stonemason. It's but continue. But not a great word. <laughs> either way, so. The these these mystery school teachings they've kept around in this family for a long time, and what Doug Coe is using all those learnings that he has to use through his actual faith that he has in Jesus, right? And so what he's pretty much doing to these people is he's saying that, like, say Donald Trump comes in, and I'm I'm here as Doug Coe to convince Donald Trump to let us have an in with him, right? Mm. Which they actually did. And I'll get to that in a second. And I'll pretty much tell him the story of why we are here. And that will make Donald Trump think that he is supposed to be here. So their whole thing is that Jesus is just like how Jesus started, where it's Jesus and the few disciples who are around Jesus. And then there's the rest of the disciples. And what they're saying is that Jesus chose those people Therefore, those people are the people who spread the message to the masses. Well, they are those people that now. That's what they firmly believe, 100%. And these people are running D.C. up until two years ago when he died. And what they're saying is like... (laughs) R.I.P. 
what they're saying is like they'll go up to people like Trump and say like the fact that I am chosen and I am now interacting with you, you are chosen as part of our lineage of choosing. Yeah. And it's almost like saying like, oh, well, I'm the lineage of, lineage of Jesus's word. So if we are to push Christianity on the rest of the world, then the way I do it is through me specifically, a human. And the crazy thing about it is part of their rhetoric and part of the things that they tell the kids that they end up running the world or these world leaders that come over is that they're not there to judge based off their bad choices. And the fact that they are chosen, like they're chosen, that the bad things they do are not too wrong Mm. if that makes sense because they were chosen to make that mistake if that's what you want to call it or to make that not mistake and just do a bad thing it's like saying if jesus went up to stab somebody on the side of the street it's like oh well he's jesus like so like what are we gonna do you know like that's all that's all christianity is though i agree let me interject real quick okay i was at work and there's like these like um it was like a christian group going to israel or something right Mm -hmm. a bunch of christian dudes and there's one dude now I'm all up for it, bro. Just don't. He was trying to preach his Christianity on me uh-huh. while I'm at work. Right. Like out Dog. of the bloom? Like out of nowhere? Just out of nowhere. I was like, yo, yeah. man, what's the, y'all all got these badges on. What are y'all doing? He was like, oh, man, uh, we're just this group. And, 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 dude, what do you know about sin? And I was like, what? It's always some, <laughs> broad, it's always some broad yeah, ass yeah, question yeah. to get bro, you hooked. And in. I was like, yeah. dog, I believe in karma. Yeah. And then went on this rant, bro. And I'm over here like my manager saw me. He was like, he got me out of it. He's like, "Hey, yo, I need you." And I was like, "Thank God, don't I just don't don't preach. Basically, just don't preach yeah. shit on the people, man." That's like one of those things. Like, dog, I know you just beat your meat right before you came here. I sinned, and then he wrote me a letter afterwards. Probably didn't tip well though. Oh no, tip great. Okay, good. <laughs> tip great. great. <laughs> but you Not know, great like, rest of the day after that was great. Tips after that. So honestly, my that's guy, funny. appreciate you. Just next time, just man, talk a little less. Hey, maybe, bro. Just don't fucking bring that preacher you know shit. Right just here. don't. Just let yeah, me work. I'm that same way too. I, I, I fucking. I'm not the one to like. Don't fucking preach to me, dog. Like right. I don't. I, don't, I, I don't got my sh- views. Yeah, I'm saying I, I don't, don't need, need this an, shit. Yeah, I don't need this shit. Don't and especially don't talk to me about fucking sin. Don't yeah. Like That's literally, what, like what thing. type of question is that? Like, what do you think about sin? What do you want I me to answer? It. Like, what do you? Think I, love, I love, love it. it. It's so fun. Like, Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, bro. Fucking. Do you think Teach me guy here's in a white my thing. Shirt. It's like it's like you're so fucking Christian. Why don't you keep a notebook of how many times you sin that day and mark every one fucking night? Literally, he was like he got to the point to where he was damn near about to tell me to go um what's the thing called when you go um Repent? Repent. Yeah. I was like that, okay, hey repent? Now that is some crazy shit, son. And the more you start thinking about Christianity, the more like you think when I hear when I was little and I heard the word Christianity, I always thought um like, what I would, you know, you hear a word and you think of an object. I always heard Christianity. I think of like a sun, like a safe place. You know, like come be a Christian, the right? Sun, there's no way the sun is a safe place. You'd be burned a fucking lot. <sighs> See, this guy's gonna go somewhere dark, son. <laughs> but anyway, talking about like Chuck E. Cheese. But yeah, it's happy, right? <laughs> so, but Chuck now when cheese. I hear Christianity, dog, I think of like a cult. Yeah, it's nothing but a cult. Religion's nothing but a cult. Religion's nothing but traditions, and then and it, a cult. It, it, it's it's almost it, almost every one of them is. You're all in to one me. place, it's almost like a brainwashing thing. It's li- you're all in one place at one time, singing the same song, preaching to one God, getting on one agenda, one agenda. You, you know, you all say not to judge, but the first thing you do after a Sunday is go to the fucking. Uh, go to the fucking Chili's and you fucking call the the, the waiter a fucking Indian name. You know what I'm <laughs> that's saying? That's what you do? They, I mean, that's what they do, son. You know what I'm saying? But like, it, it, it's... Muhammad. Ma, he's like, look at this Muhammad motherfucker. He's like, my name's Charlie. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Born in Fort Worth. <laughs> From here, bro. But I don't, I don't, I don't like the religion thing anymore. It's Are you religious? Not really. That's why I like I contemplate on wearing this cross. Mm-hmm. Because like but there's a fine line between religion and there's a fine line between um knowing or what you said earlier. You, you know what you have your beliefs. Ish. I'm not I have okay, so I'm gonna get to that. Yeah. But I'm not religious, no. Well I'm not I'm not religious, but I have my beliefs. Yeah. That there is a God, but I don't 
I don't believe in all this fucking mumbo jumbo bullshit. How we need to go. Yeah. And don't I guess like don't tell someone that that someone died for your sins. If he died for my he sins, he said that too. He was like, "Well, you, Jesus died for your sins." I was like, "Then I shouldn't great. have to go to church on Sunday if he did." Then, right? <laughs> yeah, right. We're you know what I'm saying? Then, That's like, my past. We're good. I mean, what are we talking about here? I mean, there's nothing more than dog. I, dog, the church that I that I, that I did attend back in the day, it's all white people. And if you were to put a camera on me and I were to go in there, you know, I got the fucking tattoo. I had to wear my ripped jeans. I wasn't fucking mm-hmm. y'all dressy and shit. And backwards hat, like the whole fuck. I give a fuck what you think, right? Mm-hmm. But if you were to put a camera on me and walk in that motherfucker and see all the fucking white people, conservative white people looking at me, dog, it was just judgment day. That's theirs. Judgment day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he's not in our fucking cult. Just to, just he's to, not in our cult. Just to finish this off real quick. So, like we we're like you were just saying, like it becomes a place where everyone meets to do this agenda of something. <coughs> so the leader, have y'all, y'all ever heard of something called the national prayer breakfast? It happens every year. Every president for the last, I think five or six presidents attends it every single year, but it, it's a, it's I pretty Obama. Didn't he did. Damn it's, it. It's a prayer breakfast in Washington DC it's just a giant hall where some people come on stage and they have breakfast everyone else sits in the crowd and listens to the people have breakfast talk and then everyone in the crowd goes and gets breakfast right but it's all like all the breakfast is in the in the building is okay. it a white people's brunch so here's the crazy part about <laughs> white it people's mimosas <laughs> is yeah, mimosas. Dick. the fact that Bottomless? every president for the last six presidents has gone to this is pretty wild because the organizer of it up until two years ago because he died was Doug Coe. And Doug Coe is Does the, Doug Coe have Doug any Coe relation Jesus, to uh, Cody Coe? I don't know who that is. Oh, never mind. Man. But either way, that's pretty wild You're that you can <laughs> a reaction out of that and nobody gave you one. <laughs> you can have people from all around the world come and who are leaders, spies, heads of state, heads of different types of organizations for multiple different countries. And they come to America and they sit here and multiple list people listen to presidents go up there and talk about Jesus specifically for an hour or two hours. I don't know how long it is, but it's really weird because if you like watch the crowd during the, during these prayer breakfasts, no one stays still. Like in any time a president talks, everyone's, you know, facing forward. No one's getting up in line. No one's burping or farting or nothing. You know, like mm-hmm. no noises mm-hmm. are being made. Like there's just people just walking around. There's like fucking six. There's like six different silverwares in each table. <laughs> it's not like that type of tables. It's yeah. more like yeah, yeah. yeah. But these people are just having you know secret meetings behind closed doors in a place that is finally private to them. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy that like, I mean, think about if you're Russia trying to meddle in, you know, an election, which didn't happen. But if you are, then I would definitely hop my ass to the national prayer breakfast where I would be allowed and be able to talk to our leads of state, you know, and have conversations with them, not in front of the media, not in front of translators, not in front of secretaries of state. Like it's just who you walk up to, Say hey, come with me this way. Plus, you get pancakes, and mimosas. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not bad. I might and Jesus. Yeah. Hey, but don't mimosas. forget and Jesus invite. plus nothing. That's what you're getting. You know also. what I'm saying? You get a Jesus plus pancakes and mimosas. <laughs> I guess there is plus there, something, right? I just had a cr- I just had a crazy theory, but like, you know how they say that um, heaven has like st- uh, you know the gate. They have the gate to heaven, right? But they say if you sin, you don't get in, right? I think there's a code to the gate. That's what I was saying. That's what that's bro, I'm, that's, what I'm, code? that's what I'm getting at. Is <laughs> you look good, like you die, and fucking some angel comes out. And he goes, "Here's your code." Six two four yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Got you. What? Because like they're like. Away. You're like, did you say two or four? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> but like you, you know, they say if you sin, that you sin, you're done, right? Yeah. So like, what if there's only been one? actual dude that has never sinned and he's just sitting at he's just sitting behind the gate jesus plus nothing jesus Jesus plus plus jesus plus john from down the street that's who you fucking john from down the street john down the street that never fucking that never uh uh uh, sin never drank a sip of beer never never wanked the old meat man if alcohol is a sin i am fucked (laughs) dude 
Everybody. I think sucks. weed would be worse uh, to like a typical Christian. I don't know. It's sure, art. We'll it's see. grown from the ground. See, that's what I would think, but you know, their view is kind of backwards over a lot of Isn't things. Isn't hops from trees though? Hops, hops are from trees. I mean, grain is from the ground. Yeah, rye is so. from the ground. Hops barley. Were from the show. Actually, I don't know yeah. if hops are from trees. Where's CBD from? Uh, the ground. Bitch. You see what I'm saying? Heard that. Have you been to the CBD shop out in Arlington? No, no bro. I'm though. not not really with all the CBD. I yeah. mean, I get like I'm I'm, I'm a true believer. Yeah. But like CBD is not going to help my ankle feel better. I feel yeah, like. yeah, for, yeah. I believe in it for some people, but for me, it's not. How is worth. your ankle, my friend? It's, it's good Are now. you back balling? I mean, it's, it's ish, bro. This, guy, so this guy fucking breaks his ankle. Let's it heal and then goes back out and you break you you heard it that you Same twisted one. it again right Same that, one. that first day back yep Th- there's nothing no like a I was like two weeks back but uh, I was going like easy there's nothing like a fat fucking ankle dude son. it's the worst you want bro, crutches and shit nah bro I just didn't walk I they just sat you in my bed fuck it sat in bed <laughs> dude literally just popped a hydro here and there yeah oh. a fucking twisted ankle nothing to fuck a twisted ankle is like a fucking uh, like a fat girl dude. And they just won't leave you alone. Just the worst, bro. You can't <laughs> yeah, get, and it just bothers you the whole time, bro. Like, I'm at work just, like, tripping. And, like, nobody gives a fuck about me at work, like, what my ankle feels like. And yeah. I'm out here struggling, like, yeah. wanting to cry, bro. Sweating and shit. Dude, like, hobbling to fucking, like, with a fucking tray of drinks. Like, uh, yeah, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's no fun, bro. Hey, on the um, on the shop, you ever heard of the, the show The Shop? LeBron James' the show The Shop on mm. HBO? It's basically a big podcast, but with no microphones. They have like all famous people. Oh, I know who I know who you're talking. Yeah, about. last yeah. week they had Charlamagne and the God, Kevin Hart, um, Kevin Love, uh, T.J. McConnell, McC- how much I say? T.J. McConnell. How do we say his last name? You know what I'm talking about from the Blazers shooting guard McCollum. C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum. What did I say? McCollum. Um, you said T.J. Uh, Maverick Carter. You know everybody, mm-hmm. right? And then Little Nas X was on there. Why? Random. <laughs> the, well, that, that's basically the idea is you just get a whole bunch of... Uh, Kevin Hart, you know, a whole, whole bunch okay, of... Okay, random people. people right? Okay, yeah. it's not just Hoopers. So they asked um, they asked Kevin Hart, or they asked Lil Nas X, they're like, so you came out earlier this year. Oh, you know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that little clip. I still don't know, so explain it. So they were just having a conversation, and then out of fucking nowhere, like this is like the biggest news in the world, they go, they're like, yeah, so you came out earlier this year. Talking about Lil Nas X, and he's like, yeah... And then I don't know where Kevin Hart goes. So what? He's gay. Who cares? Right? <laughs> but like, like really, like who gives a yeah, yeah. fuck? Especially right? none like, of those people. It's still his nineteen. We're really gonna sit here and be like, this motherfucker's gay. We're gonna you know talk some shit now. But uh, motherfuckers were giving Kevin Hart some fucking shit for saying he's gay. Who cares? They were but mad. Like, who cares? They, they were, were mad, mad that at he said at- that. Like, they don't care. They were like, mad that he said that because they thought he was making the agenda that because he had homophobic tweets way back in the day. Mm. And so now they're, like, thinking, like, he's just like, oh. And shout out to Kevin Hart. That motherfucker just hurt his... Uh, yeah, bro. I he hope he's okay. Yeah. yeah, he had back surgery and shit. When I heard that he got in that car accident, the only thing I could think of was, like, I cannot imagine a paralyzed Kevin Hart. Dude. And what a fucking bad time this year because he did a movie with a fucking paraplegic. Yeah, how funny bro. would paraplegic Kevin Hart be? I bet he. I'm that thinking that hilarious. too. I'm also thinking, what if what 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 is he a has so many jokes about himself? Dude, what is a, a Kevin Hart in like a fucking wheelchair just rolling around on a little uh, you know like a little joystick Scooter. talking some shit? By yeah. the way, that movie was was really good uh, with Kevin the, Hart in the amput- or when um, um, I, was I forgot what it was called, but I know what you're it talking was, about. Really that good was movie. Super. You watched that? Huh? Yeah. That was interesting. a good ass movie. Very interesting. I almost started crying in that movie. Actually. Yeah, for sure. But uh, anyways, touched your heart. It, it, there's, there's nothing that pisses me off more. I and I told you last week we're, we're, I was going to use a different clip for the Instagram, but I I, I always try to put a controversial tri- uh, clip out there. Just so motherfuckers can get a little mad <laughs> and a little like clickbait. little click, you know, like get a little mad, but you like just know that I'm now. not afraid to fucking tell you what I'm thinking. Like you're not gonna be the one that tag. You know how many people I've had message me and be like, "Hey, bro, that's fucked up," or "You shouldn't have said that." Fuck like off. that makes you're just making me happy now. Because <laughs> yeah. if you think you're gonna message me and tell me that my that the shit I'm saying is offensive, then to be honest with you, I don't give a fuck literally you know what i'm saying 
Like, I mean, I'm, I get it. I get it. Hundred percent. Like you're not gonna you, the whole PC shit. You're not gonna PC me. Y'all seen that new uh, the new Dave Chappelle that just dropped on Netflix? Okay. Did you what? Did you see it? Mm-mm. I wa- Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I watched the whole okay, thing. Okay, I watched the whole thing. I, I t- thought it was pretty fucking funny. I'll tell you my thoughts on it. I thought it was funny. They were making it seem... Is it like a stand-up thing? It, yeah, yeah, it's his yeah, new stand it, special. It is really controversial. So basically like, his topics were the Michael Jackson um, touching little boys, R. Kelly touching little girls. Um, give me some other ones. What was uh, other he ones? started talking about transgenders. Transgenders. The gays, the lesbians. Um, um, how he can't say the F word, which is... Uh, that was my favorite part, though. Say the F word. No, he said he said that uh, he was talking about how... Okay, so he was saying that he wrote the Chappelle skit 15 years ago and that there's this corporation that watches over, uh, like, say you... It was the network. ...do for HBO. Mm -hmm. The HBO network is like, all right, well, if we're going to show your show, then we got to watch your show before you air it to make sure you're not saying any stuff. And pretty much what happened is he said the word faggot, right? (gasps) Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. He said the word word faggot. This was like, what, 15 years ago. Yeah, Hold on. If I say faggot, by the way, I do not mean gay people. Let's just put that out there. But th- I want to get to that after this. Yeah, yeah, so, and then he said what happened was that in the same skit, he had, like, the N-word with the hard R, right? Hard and R. so whenever he walked away from the meeting where the lady told him, like, no, you can't say that word. You can't say the F-word. Yeah, he came yeah. back and he said, he said, why am I allowed to say the N-word with the hard R if I'm not allowed to say faggot, right? Yeah. And then the lady pretty much goes, because you're not, gay dave and dave says well uh, i'm not a n-word either Basically, i'm not but, black either yeah he pretty much says oh, like no, no, I'm, you're right. I'm not an n-word either yeah with the hard r and i'm like i'm like he's not you know it's so true, like why not. would why well, would because when 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 so i'm thinking exactly what you were thinking i'm watching it with my girl and i'm like she's not and she goes you know what the definition for an n-word is and I said no, and the definition is like ignorant individual or something like that. Ignorant individual. I, an ignorant individual. It doesn't so matter then I'm how it, it doesn't, to say the n word. It doesn't matter how you use it. Exactly. It doesn't matter how you use it. Any normal person is not a derogatory term. Like if I'm yeah. going to say like, oh, this dude walking on the side of the street's a bitch. Like he's not a a bitch. Like I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like like you see Colton sitting on the side of the street, like bitch. <laughs> you know, but he's not. Like so like yeah. like if 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 he's not a bitch, then why can you say the word bitch in the first place? You know so, what I'm saying? So back to what you were talking about, Pat, you were talking about um you're like when I say the the F word, um, that doesn't mean I'm calling you gay. Yeah. Right? Dog back in the day when it was like oh like two thousand uh four to 2008 me and the like me and like grown adults used to call each other the f word all the time right like you you know the whole thing the whole thing you're a faggot everything right we used to to say you know that's gay or and shout out to my gay homies bro you know we rep y'all bro i I fuck with the gay homies man but like like, even i say that's gay i don't like it's it's just like that's because you're so fucking used to the way it used to be yeah, I want to. So, I so want to meet the motherfucker that was like, "All right, no more, we can't <laughs> no, fi- no, no fucking more, more faggots, no more gay, no you more can't nothing. say that unless you're gay." And then you know, Chappelle also, Chappelle on the specials had the. He was like, "They got the LG." He's like, "They fucking took every letter in the alphabet." Oh, they added a plus to the end of it. By What's the way, a plus? What's I don't know. A- we couldn't asexual it plus. Anal? Like, dude, no, no it's uh, not no, anal. Maybe, bro. Maybe <laughs> not you just gender, don't have a guy. dick or a pussy or you just but unhold. <laughs> unhold, <laughs> son. You know what? Give it 10 years, we got unhold. Okay, this is this is like slightly off topic and like I'm not trying to get any of us in trouble here, but like. Oh, here it goes. Has anyone, like, do you guys know what it is to be asexual? No, I don't, I'm not I don't up to date know. with any of the sexuals. Okay, so to be asexual. I don't even know what I am. To be asexual. I'm hoping a dude. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like the, it, head, we're heterosexual, right? Heterosexual. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, but asexual is like to not want to have any sex with any single gender whatsoever, to never have any sexual feeling. It's actually biologically, technically a really, a real thing. Mm -hmm. But so I didn't bring it up to like question its realness. What I brought it up to is like, can you guys imagine never wanting to have sex ever? I think like, imagine how much it drives so many things that you do. (laughs) I mean, humans themselves are very, very sexual. Well, it's fucked up because I don't don't know. 
I got to step in the mind of all those motherfuckers, and I wish I could be them sometimes. Damn. Because if I'm walking and I see a tit out, or I see like a Try fucking ass, okay. I'm, I literally go, fuck. <laughs> I just walk the other way, and then later on that night, it's, you know, You're in trouble it's game if time. your girl watches this one. What do you mean? If your wife watches that, you're in trouble for that quote. Well, she knows. <laughs> she knows. She knows because we'll be out somewhere. <laughs> we'll be out somewhere, and she'll even go, what the fuck? And I'll go, all right, we got to go. We got to go. That's it. That's it. I'm out. <laughs> uh, Especially at the gym, dude. There's nothing more annoying than the gym when I'm trying to work out. And some girl bends down, her fucking literal asshole just pops out in my face. And you're like, bro, that I just go looks see ya. I just go great. see ya, and I walk off. <laughs> That's all I do. Shout out to those girls that look so slutty at the gym. Y'all you know what you're doing? Motivating me. You know what you're doing? <laughs> hey, motivation is is really the top thing for me when I see, you know, I mean, you know, I don't be talking to them. But if I'm fucking curling, you know, easy curls, like some 25s and shit, right? Oh, yeah. Just like chilling, you know, not really working that hard. And a fuck, she come up next to me, boy, I'm grabbing 50s. Can't even lift them 50s, hoes. Yep. Just, rah, just fucking just, just pumping, yelling, sorry. man. Shout out to the the iron or the iron fucking muscle nutrition, iron muscle man. nutrition, man. But you Hop know, on the wave. Right. Motivation's a key. I'm not big enough to be just throwing up weights like that. <laughs> He's gonna be the one struggling in front of the bad bitch. Like, you know what? Maybe we'll just nah, go back I to stick 25. to my. How's shit? your journey coming along, my friend? Fucking good, bro. You like it? Yeah, I'm going like five times a week, every week good, man. for probably I think this is month, like the very end of last week, a mm-hmm. month too. You eating, bro? I put on. I w- I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, about to make fun of me a little bit, <laughs> but like I was, I'm almost six two, and two months ago I weighed 139 pounds. Right. This is like un- it's unhealthy. We're live, baby. We're live. What else is going on this week, man? Man, I have one thing to say. When we were talking about religions and mm-hmm. what we believe in, right? Okay, so me and me and Nick talk about this, and I, this is my belief, right? It's not a religion. It's like what I believe. Wait, in. shout out the whole name, Nick Clark. Nick Clark. Y'all know the boy. Shout out Nick Clark. Making so, pies. Making pies. Do y'all ever like be like driving? Like, let's say you're driving down the road, right? And you're speeding. You're like, dude, I'm. I, there's probably a cop up there. And you slow down. Yeah, yeah. And sure as shit, there's that cop right there. Yeah. Right? So, like, bro, this is my belief, bro. These brain waves that we put out, because that's a fact. We got brain. You know, brain you know waves are going, going out and shit, right? I know exactly Dude, where he's going. I know where he's going to. That shit is real. It's real, <laughs> know, bro. Son, shit is real. I know, son. We've been talking I've about been this for three, four shit. podcasts and now, it, bro. And, like, yeah. it happens. Wait, wait. Let Nick say his quote really quick so about, the, about the energies you put out. So the, the energy that you put out is, um, so, you know, I don't know if there's a God, but I believe we got ourselves. Mm-hmm. And I believe whatever energy we put out literally goes up to the universe, bounces around and shit, and then comes back, and that's your karma. But, Dude, like, those thoughts you were having... Yeah. Those are just thoughts going out to the universe, bouncing around, and then coming right back to confirm yeah. that you're right. And this, like, this hap- this happens to me. It happened more. It happened with this girl. I'm not gonna, not gonna say her name. Mm-hmm. Not giving her credit. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it would be like where we would stop talking to each other for a minute, and then I would randomly think about her. Sure, shit. Two minutes later, I get the text. Yeah, and this bro, would happen every time. Mm-hmm. And then like it happened. It happened to Nick the other day where he was um he was talking with his coworkers about like awkward people or something and he brought up this one dude's name from high school right Mm -hmm. and that dude followed or liked the picture on his instagram like 10 minutes later that dude doesn't follow him (laughs) nick doesn't follow him it was random as hell so Mm -hmm. bro i'm i'm that's what i believe in is brain waves and brain energy so the world should just be called energy that's what it is dude. really what Instead it is of world, and god bro, i believe is energy that's what it is because god doesn't necessarily have to be a figure i'm right there in the same fucking boat with you subjective thing bro i would say even like i'm not trying to get into this really quick but like i would say like even like more complicated than just like that energy like the brain waves and energy are different because like energy no, doesn't work sure. how about twin, little, like twin a combination celebrity. that's real too yeah. yeah okay so i was leaving texas live texas live shout out texas live <laughs> come and <laughs> come and see me i'll hold it down okay but anyways i was leaving texas live last year right after a cowboy game so this mm-hmm. is probably about he got shot at two thirty. that's what i'm telling the story bro. He's, you got shot at so it's like 2 30 3 30 3 in the morning yeah. and i'm walking in my car we park in probably a quarter to a half mile away from texas Might live well half mile walk and so yeah. you walk to the parking lot and there's stadium drive which is where 
uh, the Ranger Stadium is on. So it's like Randall Mill and then Stadium Drive right there. And you take a ride on Stadium Drive and you walk probably a good, quarter that's probably mile. the quarter mile to the to the parking lot. And no bullshit at all. I'm sitting there and I'm texting my mom and I put my phone in my pocket. And right as I put my phone in my pocket, I got this thought that wouldn't leave my head like something bad's about to happen, something bad about to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so much that I, I'm never once in my whole entire career of working at Texas Live never done it before that or never done it again. But I leaned down and I tied both my shoes. I took my waiter apron off. I tied it up, took my phone out of my pocket, my wallet out of my pocket. I stuffed it in the apron and I tied it really tight. And the second I like got done doing that, this like black Tahoe comes down the street the opposite way that I'm going, and it U-turns on me right here. And like I don't have beef with nobody, I promise you. Mm. And they pull a gun out the window right as they U-turn on me, and it's just bop, bop, Can I get a bop. race? I didn't see anything except one black hand coming out of a window because right. it was a blacked out Tahoe. I didn't uh, see nothing. Uh-huh. And so, like, that happens to me, and I'm, like, looking at He's my- shooting directly at you? No, no, no. So I'm probably... Say Patrick is me and like, because this is literally how far it is. So like, you can't right. miss. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's like this way, but he's directly like next to you. Direct, like you turn right on me. I'm at the U-turn right there. I'm walking across the street to like the parking you're walking lot. Walking car. So you know how there's the and light before La R. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's at that light. I'm walking across that light, and that's where he U-turns right there. And so, I just fucking look it. Take off, and I like you know I. As I'm running, I like have my phone in my hand and my apron tied up, and I, you know, call my mom. I'm like, I'm like straight up. I'm just, I literally said, just stay on the phone, with me, and I just set my phone down, you know, and I just like kept running. But the crazy part about it is like, my shoes were untied, you know, like I had all my shit hanging everywhere. I had so much money that could have just easily flown out of right, my pocket. Right. And right before that, I had this thought, like something bad was to happen. I never had that. I get that, that shit, dog. I get because, that shit. Bro, it's the energy they time. put out. They were going to put out around that like, corner. Oh, yeah. They were like, oh, we're going to see some. The next person we see, we're just going to fuck with them. Fuck with so them. So what That's happened? It. No, they, they ended up going around and turning around again. And so by the time I got, I take a right into the parking lot. I'm probably less. So they still could have shot again. Like I yeah. still could have died. Less than 20 yards into the parking lot. And they just drove past me. That's but it. they U-turned again, you know, yeah. on me. Maybe get caught up? I, I did. Loki, I've never called the cops in my entire life, and that's the one time I've ever called the cops. But Fucking bitch, dude. You know, but like, those feelings that we talking about, I get them hoes, bro. And when I get them hoes, I'm right, son. Yeah. And, and, literally 80% of the and time. And my girl. Really li- and, but 80% is high as fuck, Pat. I've been right so many times on that shit that when my when I tell my girl, I'm like, like I get I get a feeling. Mm-hmm. She's like, all right, let's fucking, we got to go do whatever the opposite of that shit is. But I know that feeling, though. That shit's real, son. Yep, it happens, bro. Like, what is the mathematical chance that I had that thought during that time? You just get like, you know, that's, I mean, like, well, that's like when someone's behind you and you don't see them, but you can feel them. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy shit. Son. You ever been a, I drive a truck, so it's kind of hard to uh, switch lanes in the highway because I actually have to turn my, my head. Mm-hmm. You ever switch lanes and... You low key weren't looking because you're looking at your phone. I don't know, smoking a blunt, doing whatever the mm-hmm. fuck. I mean, I I low key am a pretty damn good driver, but I have fucked up before, like any other human has. And you look at a lane, and then before you even get over all the way, you pull yourself back because you're mm-hmm. like, oh fuck. And you look, and there's a car right there. Like, damn, I could just kill somebody, you know, like yeah. straight up, but I didn't because yeah. their energy was probably screaming like. Ah! Like, don't fucking hit me, man. Well, look, hey, man, if you've learned anything from episode uh, 48, Indians, cults and religion, uh, energy, and the LGBTQ has too many fucking a plus. letters. And Pat has a cool hat. LG, LGBTQA+. Plus. Shout out, Polo. That's ridiculous. Shout, Shout out, out Polo. Shout out, uh... Uh, Middle Eastern dresses. <laughs> Turbans. Uh, shout out Pat for taking the fucking time off to come out on the show, sorry, man. I want to go to work today anyway. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Shout out Colton for coming through. Thank it's you, not like the motherfucker's going to make a fucking long drive. He lives walk fucking 20 feet street. down the street. I walked across the street with a <laughs> beer in my hand. Street. With a beer in my hand. He calls, me, he, goes, he calls me, he goes, hey, can I walk down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. And 30 seconds later, I was here. Yeah. Uh, shout out Chill. Oh yeah! Shout out, Joe. Uh, any Sorry last words? I took your spot today. Yeah, any last words, Pat? I want to come back. Come back, son. You're always welcome here. Let's do it. 
Colton, any last words? He got some crazy shit. Uh, nah, I like this podcast. That was a good fun. That was Nothing today? No, nah, no crazy shit nah, today? Nah, 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 nah. We took all my ideas already. <laughs> I'll have more for next time. Don't, uh, don't catch me lacking. I uh, promise. Episode hey, what? I want to talk about the fantasy next week. Okay. okay. I'm talk down. Me and Patrick are in the same fantasy league. And he he drafted Patrick Mahomes in the first round. Not don't trying to talk. Talk to me about it. <laughs> Not trying to talk. <laughs> don't want to hear it. But <laughs> next week 48. you'll see me 1 0 and Patrick 0 1. Heard. Marzix Podcast, we out. Ooh, 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 ooh.